Welcome to Mission San Luis Obispo de Tolosa. This mission was founded in 1772 by Father Upeno Sierra. This was the fifth mission founded and people nicknamed it the Prince of the Missions, or the Accidental Mission. This mission was built here because Father Sierra realized the other missions were running out of food. And remembering the Valley of the Bears, he sent a hunting party to bring back bear meat. And that having gone so well, he decided to found a mission here. We're going to start our tour at the side of the Padres Corridors at the Columns. There are 11 columns, one for each apostle except for Judas. Next, we'll be viewing the Bell Tower. The Bell Tower had three bells, each with its own name. The first one, Joy, second one, Sorrow, and final one, Gloria. The bells would be rung by the mission bell ringer to wake everybody up in the morning and call them to church. Next, we will be entering the church. As you walk in, you will see many pews, which were mainly filled with native Chumash Indians or other people attending the church's service. You may also notice there are chandeliers, so that the room will at least have a little bit of light, seeing how there are no windows in all the church. Up in front of the church, there is a little stand called the altar. The Bible is up on the altar so that the priest can lead everybody in prayers. Behind the altar, there is also a little room known as the sacristy where the mission would keep all of its valued items. It's also the only room in the whole mission with a window. This mission is very unique because it is the only Californian mission that is shaped as an L. The longer side of the L, the L being on this side of the church, and the shorter part being on this side of the church. The next room we will be entering in my mission is the Padres Quarters. Padre's quarters is where everybody who took care of the mission would sleep. Each station in the Padre's quarters had a table, chair, candle, pitcher of water, and chest. We are now entering the workshop, the storerooms. This is where the priest would keep all items used for the, this mission or to send to other missions. Some common things found in chests were adobe bricks, clothing, and food to send to other missions. This is the workshops, where Chumash Indians would make said items that would be put in the chests in the storeroom, such as adobe bricks, clothing, and they would also sometimes cook food here. We are now looking at the inside of the square that all four of these fantastic mission buildings create. It is split into four different sections by the grape arbors, which would be used to grow grapes. And once those grapes were grown, they would be used to make wine. This, mission, this area of the outside is known as the garden. It had a fountain for drinking water and washing laundry. And they also grew wheat, barley, olives, and corn for the mission. In this area, they raised cattle and sheep. And this one is the courtyard where Indians would sometimes take a break if they were allowed to. The roof of Mission San Luis Obispo de Tolosa was burned down three times, twice by flaming Chumash arrows, and once by a man that shot his, shot his gun off during service. After being burned down three times, the priest decided to rebuild their st original straw roof and remake it out of red tile instead, so it would not catch on fire and burn down again. This concludes our tour of Mission San Luis Obispo de Tolosa.